Orbiters, including Mars Odyssey and Mars Express, have been hunting down life as well from orbit. After 10 years of mission, we have achieved a global view of Mars, and then we know at every location on the surface if you find some special minerals or not. So we have really the global view that tells us the, the history of Mars. Mars Express has, for the first time, detected methane, and also the concentration in the atmosphere vary from a place to another, from a season to another. And this discovery has, uh, has been very debated in the scientific community because, in fact, methane should not be there because it's being destroyed in the atmosphere by the ultraviolet radiation. So if methane is there, there must be a source of methane. And for the time being, the origin of this source is largely unknown. However, with Curiosity prowling around Gale Crater, it too detected seasonal methane. Now, methane has been found previously in the Martian atmosphere by both Earth-based telescopes and space-borne orbiters. But this is the first time that we've actually seen a sharp increase and decrease in the abundance of methane in the atmosphere in Gale Crater. And what this really means is that present-day Mars is an active environment. The big question is, uh, what is the origin of this methane uh, now being released? The two principal areas are first, uh, by analogy with the Earth, it could be released and produced initially uh, primarily by biology. This would be microbial activity acting on uh, certain chemicals below the surface and then producing methane as a byproduct. But of course, we can't state with certitude that it is uh, a, a biologically produced. And so we also consider geochemical uh, mechanisms uh, in which uh, carbon dioxide is actually combining with water uh, and producing methane under very high temperatures and pressures. And that methane can then be released in the atmosphere separately. Now, at this point, we don't have enough evidence to tell us whether or not the organics we're finding are biological or non-biological in origin. There are several viable non-biological explanations, including this organic material could have come down from space, from meteorites or comets, or organics can be formed by geological reactions in the rock itself. Now, what's exciting about this discovery is it gives us new hope in the search for chemical evidence of life. We found the organic material. Now, the next step is trying to figure out what its origin is. Main engine start. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with MAVEN, looking for clues about the evolution of Mars through its atmosphere. The latest NASA orbiter mission is MAVEN. Launched in November 2013, it made orbit 10 months later. MAVEN is the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution mission. Our goal is to study the role that loss to space has played in the history of the atmosphere. Where did the water go? Where did the CO2 go from the early planet? These are important questions to understand how Mars went from an early warm, wet environment to the cold, dry environment we see today. There's evidence of, of water flowing on Mars at one point in time, perhaps even oceans on Mars. And what happened that is so barren at this point in time. And a key part of that is the atmosphere, and it's a much thinner atmosphere than what scientists believe it was at one point in time. So the stripping away of that upper atmosphere, that's what MAVEN is going after, the climate change at Mars. One of these processes is called sputtering, where atoms are knocked away from the atmosphere due to impacts from energetic particles. The sun constantly emits high-energy photons. When these enter a planet's atmosphere, it can crash into a molecule, knocking loose an electron and turning it into an ion. When this happens in the presence of a magnetic field, the ions are captured and spin around the field. Conveniently, the sun generates a giant magnetic field that is carried by the solar wind. As the magnetic field sweeps past the planet, these ions are carried away. Depending on where they form, other ions will not be carried away, but will hit the top of the atmosphere. These ions crash into other molecules and fling atoms everywhere. Some of these atoms can be knocked or sputtered into space, causing atmospheric loss.
As this process continues over billions of years, Mars' atmosphere has disappeared, and along with it, the water. How much water has Mars lost this way? We use the world's three major telescopes for infrared astronomy. From the ground, we can actually take a snapshot of the whole hemisphere of the planet on a single night. Water naturally carries a heavy isotope of hydrogen, deuterium, which remains trapped in the water cycle while normal hydrogen is lost to space. Detecting the amount of deuterium enrichment tells us how much water has been lost. Now we know that Mars water is much more enriched than terrestrial ocean water in the heavy form of water, the deuterated form. Immediately, that permits us to estimate the amount of water Mars has lost since it was young.